I've written a really simple little script here which will search on finance.yahoo.com for the Microsoft stock symbol and pull out its value. Let me just show you it running. As you can see it's pulled out the value there. It's pulled out this value here. I want to show you how I figured out what these values here should be. The input box, the fact that it's a net, the name is S and so on. Now I could have just looked at the source of the page but as you can see that's rather overwhelming. It's a, like finding a needle in a haystack and I'd have to use a bit of detective work to figure out which element I'm looking for. There's an easier way. If I hit F12 while I'm in Internet Explorer this pane at the bottom appears. Now it may appear as a separate window like that. But either way if we then click on this little arrow as we roll over an element you'll see it become bordered in blue. We want, we're interested in this one because that's what we want to enter the value into. We click on there and we now get taken straight to the HTML underlying that element. And as you can see it's an input box and its name is S. I could have used the ID. It's got an ID called TXT Quotes. So I've used name equals S and equally there's the get quotes button ID BTN quotes no name in this case I could have used value get quotes assuming there aren't any other input boxes with the same value just a quick note about class usually that's used to specify the CSS style in other words what it should look like so that's not always unique because a style can be shared across many elements. It can be sometimes and sometimes it is used for identifying elements. Um, you can use a little bit of detective work to work out what's unique. Usually if it's got a name or an ID you're fairly safe. If it hasn't then maybe you need to do a quick search on something else to make sure that there aren't any other things with the same value. But if, if there are don't forget that these functions return an array so you'll get a list, you'll get multiple matches and of course you could then if you tell it to return the HTML you could then loop through to determine which one it is. That would be the get tags version of the function. So basically that enters MSFT up there this line clicks get quotes we then wait for the page to load and then on the next page we're pulling out this span with ID YFS184 MSFT. As you see, that's it there. And we just need the text. There you go. So, just a really quick example of how we can use the developer tools using F12 in Internet Explorer to find the information we need.